in order to defeat your fear is that you're going to have to walk through it. The problem is, in order to walk through it, it's going to require me to place my feet in a situation that's awfully precarious, a situation that's awfully unstable. How do I defeat my fears? Well, I like what Jacob did because Jacob was honest about where he was, but he was also honest about where God was taking him. God, you said. God, I'm afraid, but you said you would bless me. How do I defeat my fear? How do I walk through a situation that, look, if I put my weight on it, it's not going to support me? God, you said you would never leave me nor forsake me. God, I'm afraid, but you said that you've never seen the righteous forsaken nor seed begging bread. God, you said that you would take care of me and that you had plans for my life and that you would prosper me. And you take a step. Oh. Where in between where you are and where you know you want to be is a place called fear. And if you take one more step, you feel like everything going to come from up under you. And so you just stand here knowing that the audience is looking at you and you're looking at them. <laughs> but you know in order to receive the blessing, you're going to have to walk through the very thing that frightens you the most and you're going to have to put your... <laughs> I've fallen, but I can't get up. You're going to have to put your weight on a situation that will not support you. And when it happens, your first response is to walk away from God because that's what I told you, that church stuff don't work. That God stuff don't work. That stuff doesn't work. I don't really believe in it. It let me down. And so I'm walking away from the faith. But what if God designed things to fall through not so that your fear can crush you, but so that your fear can define you.